everybody welcome to today's video if you're new here my name is Kiyor Island Socialist on Instagram and my blog is islandsocialist.com in today's video I will be sharing the love notions feature Friday pattern for today it's the willow wrap dress and I did a little hack willow wrap dress is your classic knit wrap dress um there are multiple options let's talk about the bodice so you have a plain bodice and you also have one that ruches a little bit on the sides i made the plain bodice you also have two neckline options so you have a low neckline and a higher neckline i did the low neckline and there is this optional ruffle for the neckline that I added to my willow this time. This is only my second time making the willow wrap dress. Um, let me put up my first one. So my first one, I used a tie-dye French terry. This fabric is double brush poly. I used my exact same pattern pieces from the first one to make this dress. I just needed to print the additional ruffle and I changed the length of the sleeves. On that one, I did the a length between the elbow and the three quarter length sleeves. For this one, I went with short sleeves. So there are five sleeve options in total. Short, elbow, three quarter long, and there's also a flounce sleeve. I thought I loved my first one, but I love this one even more. So anyway, there is a dress option and there's also a peplum top option, which I do want to try as well. Like I said, it's a classic faux wrap style. So the bodice, wraps over but it's all stitched down so nothing is coming apart and then the skirt is just a flared skirt and it's one pattern piece for the front and the back and good news there is a maternity option for this dress as well um the willow is offered in sizes extra small to 5x i made size large graded to medium at the waist like i said i used my same pattern pieces from the first one i didn't even bother to remeasure or print any new sizes or anything because it's a knit pattern i felt comfortable just um using my old pattern pieces this is one of the few bodices that exist that i did not have to shorten um the only thing i shortened was the skirt and that is only for the purpose of this hack for my first one that is the original length of the dress for this hack i wanted to add double flounces to the skirt um i did want it just a little bit shorter this time because this one is more of a casual type of um, tropical holiday vibe so i thought it would be nice a little bit shorter and i also added a tie to the um the side where this crossover ruffle ends it is a fake tie <laughs> it is stitched on um it really has no function but i thought it was a cute addition so if you want to see how i added my double flounces to the will wrap dress Stay tuned, let's go. Welcome to my sewing room. So I am working on my willow wrap dress hack, a shorter version with double flounces. I've already constructed my entire bodice. I did the ruffle version because I want the ruffles to match the flounces on the skirt. So now we're going to move on to the skirt, which is the fun part because this is where we are going to shorten and add our double flounces. So obviously for this part, you need to grab your skirt piece this is mine what i love about the willow is that the skirt piece is the same for both the back and the front which means we only have to adjust this one pattern piece so i'm going to take you guys to my cutting table now and we are going to get started on our skirt here is our skirt piece we're going to adjust the length according to the length of skirt we want I kind of want mine in between mini and knee length so I measured and I'm going for a 21 inch skirt. One of the things that we need to keep in mind when we are about to adjust our skirt is the fact that we have double flounces. So of course the first thing you want to do is decide how long you want your flounces to be and I have decided that I want a 3 inch flounce on top of a six inch flounce that way my flounces are the same length when the three inch one is on top of the 
six inch one of course we'll then have to go and add seam allowances when we are creating our flounce pieces but now that we know that our longest flounce is six inches we can take that into consideration when adjusting our skirt length so i'm going to flip this skirt piece around hoping that you can see better do not worry guys i am getting ready to order my overhead tripod and all that good stuff this is a good time to say thank you to those of you who um donated on coffee um that is going towards my new equipment anyway so this is my skirt piece we have our center fold here and our waist to the top so i'm going to measure down from the waist this is my 20 inch mark here but the thing is my longest flounce is actually six inches which means i only need my skirt to be 14 inches long we then have to account for seam allowances at the waist and at the hem seam allowances for this pattern are three eighths of an inch so we're gonna add three eighths plus three eighths which gives us three quarter and my cut line is going to be at 14 and three quarters so i'm going to go ahead and mark that the next step is to go around marking that 14 and three quarters all the way around the entire hem let me show you this is what the peplum line looks like here so it will look very similar you will have some dots to connect which will then form a nice curved hem so i am going to go ahead and do that now So now that I have all of my little dots marked, I am going to go ahead and join these. Of course, you can freehand, but I'm going to use my curved ruler so that I get a nice smooth line. So here we have my new hemline. That is where I will cut. And remember that our seam allowances are already included. Sometimes I wish that y'all could talk back to me. I know somebody would have told me I calculated that wrong. Why did I just calculate for a 20 inch skirt instead of a 21? Oh my goodness. So I just had to come back and add in an inch. Luckily, I didn't cut my fabric or anything yet. I actually just noticed when I was coming to cut this line. Whew. I saved it. I almost had my butt out you guys just kidding it would only been one inch shorter <laughs> but yeah i prefer to start with the 21 then if it is that i find it's a little bit too long you could always trim always go longer because it could take off but you can't add on so we're at the try on point now um i just measured and i think i could have actually left it at the 20. so i am going to go ahead and chop off an inch all the way around or or i can narrow my flounces so i am actually thinking to narrow my flounces just because it will then sort of mimic these ones um so yeah that is the decision i need to make now am i going to go for like um two or two and a half inch flounces or do i shorten an inch here is what it looks like from the back. This is actually a cute tunic right now. Actually, this is looking like a nice little beach dress with my <laughs> denim shorts. But yeah. So let me show you guys what I did. Um, I may have to set up the tripod actually. All right, let's see. So this strip here is six inches and this is just some scraps. It's really hard to show, but I had held it up in front of me to see if I like the length of the flounce um, and it is ending up about right here so literally on top of my knee um, so yeah I definitely think I could go on in shorter all right guys so I have my dress laid out that is the curved bottom hem that you're seeing there so we're going to run the tape measure all along the hem and then we'll multiply that by two because this skirt is cut on the fold and that will tell us the length of flunks we need for the back and also the length of flunks we need for the front. So we'll be making four flunks in total, two for the front and two for the back. 
So my measurement is 16 and a half. We are going to multiply that by two, which is 33 inches. So we need 33 inches for the front and another 33 inches for the back. Of course, seam allowances are included. So you will stitch the flounces up at the side at the three of an inch and then it will come back exact to the hem of the skirt. For our circle flounce, we need the inner circumference to be 33 inches. So I have a big sheet of paper here and we're going to fold this down. We're folding it into quarters essentially. We're gonna go ahead and make that crease. And we're going to fold it over again. So now what we have is a right angle to the top and we actually have four layers of paper. So I am using a video from Londa Rolfing, I think it's her name. I will have the video linked down in the description box. But this is how we're going to draft our flounces. We're going to take that measurement that we got of the area where we want the flounce to be. Remember, I got 33 inches. So I need the circumference of my inner circle to be 33 inches. Now, normally, you would do your calculations with pi. It is very similar to calculating a circle skirt. However, Londa has shown us a much easier way to calculate. The rule that she says is you take your measurement, you minus one inch, so that gives me 32 inches, and then you're going to divide that by six. Now this is gonna give me something like 5.33 and we could go on forever with the threes. Um, so you're going to want to round this off. Now, because the way that a circumference of a circle sits on fabric, it does tend to stretch a bit. I can actually get away with rounding this down to five and a quarter inches. That is an easier measurement for me to work with. So that is what I will be working with for this tutorial. So we're going to go ahead now and mark our dots and i'll show you how i do mine so working with this at our top the folded edges you want to make sure you have the folded edges we are going to measure down five and a quarter inches and we're going to go all the way around five and a quarter inches some people use a pin with a string and a pencil or that jazz. I am just going to go around and measure it with my tape measure and then connect the dots. So here you can see I've drawn my curve. Obviously I'm going to go in now and meeting that up. Now our next step is to determine how long we want our flounces to be. Now remember I already chose 6 inches and 3 inches so I'm going to go ahead and mark my six inch flounce measuring from your first marking so i have all my dots i'm going to go ahead and connect those now using my curve ruler remember you want to keep the edges of your dots at a right angle otherwise you're going to end up with a pointy flounce So here I have my six inch flounce marked. And the next step is to add seam allowance to the top here. So we're gonna go ahead, mark three eighths inch up and connect the dots, just as we did for the first two. And there we have my seam allowance marked. And my six inch flounce, obviously you will do the same for the three inch flounce piece. Next step is to go ahead and cut this out. Okay, 
Here we have our first circle and I am going to follow Lana's instructions to add my seam allowance. So I am going to use one of the creases as my reference. We're going to add 3 8 inch on either side. Then we are going to go ahead and cut straight up that crease. And this is what our 6 inch flounce looks like. Now looking at this, I'm already thinking that I may need to do my flounces another way because I'm not convinced <laughs> that I'm going to get enough of these out of my fabric because remember I need two six and two three. I'm going to lay this on my fabric and see how I feel about going forward with this method because I am not entirely sure I have enough. Guys, I almost had enough fabric to get two sixes and the two threes in a full circle almost but not quite so i have folded back up my piece for the six i am going to take off an inch so this is going to become five inches long and then i am going to change my shorter one to two and a half instead of three so what you guys are looking at right now are my two sets of flounces i have them pinned at the seam lines right sides together so i'm gonna go ahead and sew all of those up at three eighths of an inch on my serger and i'll be right back so since my flounces will be staying raw and it won't be hemming i have threaded my serger tails up <laughs> through the serge this is a very common practice in sewing i believe i use this massive needle and now i am going to use some fritchek just to hold that in place and trim off the excess and that should stay put. Okay, so I have my smaller flounce pinned right sides together to the hem. Um, this is the hem here, so the top of the dress is down this side. Pinned it all around, all around in that circle. Um, now I'm going to take the bigger flounce and place that onto this smaller flounce and we're going to do the same thing right side down wrong side up gonna go ahead and attach that all the way around what you can do you can base the two flounces together first and then just attach them as one um i think that would actually be a better idea for next time but since i already have this pinned i am just gonna take my bigger one now and go around and pin the same way and then we will take that to the serger and my flounces will be on and then i have one final step for this dress okay so now i have my bigger flounce pinned onto my smaller flounce all the way around the entire hem of the dress i actually didn't realize how wide this hem is so i think it's going to be really really flouncy and roughly and floaty I think it's going to be really really cute i am so excited to go search this on because once i search this on i can try the dress on again and then i just have to hem my sleeves and then like i said i have one final step that i want to do so let's go to the serger i'm in love guys i'm in love so i'm trying this on for the first time with the flounces and it is actually not too short even though i messed up and i had to um cut down my flounces an inch it is perfect length. I think it's perfect length. Um, it's like right above my knee. Yeah, nothing inappropriate going on here, guys. Love, love, love this length. Look how swishy it is. So, my plan is, this is what I was thinking. I was thinking to put a little fake tie um, somewhere in this vicinity. So I can either put it here or I can put it here can you like wear this and not smile i don't think that is possible oh the wind just blew through and i saw little ruffles flying <laughs> y'all i get so happy and emotional over the weirdest things i just love this dress love 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 this dress oh my goodness and i think this dress is a very very versatile dress because i think it could be daytime it could be a little afternoon thing a little evening thing I just have to switch it up with my shoes 
um i think this would look really good with little sandals i think it would look really good with my wedges i think it would look even cute with a beach hat and flip-flops <sighs> i am so so happy with this dress do you guys like it as much as i do or am i just say freaking out for no reason <laughs> all right on to make my drawstring today's video i hope you guys enjoyed watching if you did give me a big thumbs up and also remember to hit the subscribe button like i said this is today's feature friday over at love notions patterns which means it is on sale for five dollars today only i will have my affiliate link down below if you feel inspired and want to purchase through my link i will really appreciate that i also wanted to mention um i did drop off the face of the earth a little bit at the end of hashtag vision pattern designers challenge that is because my husband has been dealing with an allergic reaction we're trying to get on top of it he's now fully medicated up and he did manage to get some allergy tests done so we're waiting on those results so the last few days of hashtag bhm pattern designers um was a bit crazy to say the least i had to put all my um final projects on hold so i do apologize for that but yeah life happened um those of you who participated thank you so much we really appreciate you we have already drawn our winners as well so um there is a live on Natita's Instagram at So Natural Dane. You can go and have a look at us drawing the winners live. Really, really um, fun time we had. So that is it for today's video. I hope you love my willow wrap dress as much as I do. And I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye!